Hey guys, welcome back to Real Estate Shot Caller. Are you wondering whether or not you wanna live on base or off base if you just got orders to San Diego? Or maybe you're living on base right now and you're wondering, okay, uh, is it a good idea to maybe move off base this next cycle? In this video, I'm gonna give you the five reasons why you wanna live off base. <laughs> Okay, real quick before we get into the five reasons why you wanna live off base, this is part one of a five part series where I'm gonna be going over all the pros and cons of living on base compared to living off base. I'm gonna give you details of the areas which are great for military personnel, which are affordable. We're also gonna talk about your BAH, your rank, and figure out what areas you can move to that are affordable in which your BAH will actually cover the mortgage payment. So it's all part of a five part series, so stick around, please subscribe so you don't miss any of them. And let's get started with the five reasons why you wanna live off base. The first one is gonna be you get to keep your basic allowance for housing. So if you live on base, all the basic allowance for housing is gonna to go towards the home that you live in there. And a lot of times those homes are really small. Maybe it's just a two bedroom house and you have two kids. So you need to definitely look at the housing on base and see if it's worth it to give all of that money. Because if you're living in San Diego, the basic allowance for housing is pretty high. And with that allowance for housing, even though the rental market is pretty high and the housing market, you can still take your basic allowance for housing and put it towards a rental and be able to afford that or even afford something that's less expensive and so you can pocket a couple hundred dollars. So. Reason number one is that you get to save, possibly save some of your basic allowance for housing. Okay, reason number two is that you have business freedom. Now, what does that mean? So if you live on base and you wanna have a business out of, out of your house, if your wife wants to have a business or if you wanna have a side business, you have to go through base to get that approved and a lot of times they say no to that. Whereas if you live off base, you can designate a whole room as your office, you can run a business from there, and you don't necessarily need permission from the base. So reason number two is that you'll have business freedom. Okay, reason number three is that the convenience of having your friends and family just come over to your house without having to get them permission to come onto base and come to your place. Now, it's nice to live on base because there's the commissary, there's the hospital, there's all the shops, and you're close to work, but, you're gonna find that when you're living on base and you want other people to come on base, it can be a real hassle to get them an actual pass to come on. You know, a lot of times they'll have to call you to confirm and then they'll have to go in and get a pass and then come, come to your house. So the convenience is a lot better living off base. People can just come and go. And moving on to number four, and that would be your landscaping in your yard. So if you live on base, they have some pretty strong restrictions on what you can do to your front yard and backyard. And don't get me wrong, if you live off base in a rental, sometimes a landlord won't allow you to do things to your front yard, backyard. However, I know on base, I think it's gonna be pretty hard to put in, let's say, an above ground pool. Whereas if you rent a house out in town, you know, there's a good possibility if you wanted to do something like that, you could do it. So the convenience of being able to do what you want with your yard and with your landscaping. Okay, the fifth one I have on my list is dog drama. So a lot of times on base, they don't allow certain breeds, uh, pit bulls, huskies, things like that. So you need to check with your base to see what pets they actually do allow. And a lot of times there's a lot of other restrictions that come along with having a pet on base where you can take your pet and everything. So it's really nice to be able to live off base, live in your own house or own apartment where they are pet friendly. You can have your dog breed and you're able to walk them and take them kind of wherever you want to go. Go. Lastly, I know those were the five things, but lastly, it's just, I mean, what I realize is it's just so much nicer to live off base. I mean, you're, you're able to just go about your business without having to come on and off all the time. And you're dealing with the MPs and dealing with all the people coming on the base, the traffic and all that kind of stuff. So there, it's just really beneficial to live off base. I did it my full five years and you know, I wouldn't have done it any other way. I, I wouldn't have wanted to live on base. I had too many friends that lived on base and just didn't enjoy it. So anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. And uh, my next video, we're gonna talk about some of the great areas to live around Camp Pendleton and in North County, San Diego, which like I said before, if you live, if you're gonna be uh, based on the Naval Base down in San Diego, you could still live in North County and a lot of military personnel do because of the cost of the homes. And so we're gonna talk about in the next video, we're gonna talk about Oceanside 
Carlsbad, Vista, San Marcos, Bonzel, Fallbrook, Temecula, and some of Escondido. And I'm gonna give you some of the good areas that you can afford. So stay tuned to the next video. Looking forward to it. I'll see you there. Ooh.